Vicky, welcome back to Rocked Up Frocks. In this series I take vintage and pre-loved clothing and give it a makeover. Today I'm going to be making over this denim jacket which belongs to Kimmy from What Would Blair Do ready for our lookbook shoot tomorrow. What I'm going to do is take this collar off and add a sequin hood to it. If you want to do this to a jacket it's best to find one that's got a round collar like this rather than one that's got a collar and lapels because what we're going to be doing is I'm picking the collar from all the way around this seam and then attaching the hood to where the collar's sewn on at the minute. The first job to do is to unpick the collar and take it off completely. Once you've got your collar unpicked, your neckline's going to look something like this. And this is where we're going to attach the hood to. So now we can measure the width of this and around here we can make our hood pattern. This is my hood pattern for this jacket. I've modified a hood pattern I already had to fit on this jacket. So my centre front is 18 inches high. The width at the widest point just under 13 inches and you can see at the bottom this is the part that joins onto where we've just taken the collar off and you want it to slope down slightly as it comes towards the centre front. If you look at your collar on a person or on a mannequin you'll see that it's lower at the front than it is at the back so you can kind of measure the drop that you need to add to your pattern from that. I think mine was about four centimetres so you can see I put my tape measure across, you can see that that's how much it drops by at the centre front, which is about, it's about an inch I think, so I'm switching between inches and centimetres, I work in both and switch between in my head. You can always do a little test of your pattern in some scrap fabric just to see how it's going to turn out and sit. Once you're happy with your pattern, once you're happy that it fits onto where we've taken the collar off from, you need to cut with right sides together. I've already cut mine, so I've cut two pieces of our silver sequin fabric, which will be the outside of the hood, and I've got them pinned all around the back to the top with the right sides together, and I've done the same in a white satin, which will be the lining of the hood. Once you've got them cut and pinned, it's time to stitch around the backs and press those seams open. Now I've stitched around the long curved edge on the outside fabric and the lining fabric, I'm going to press that seam open. Just on the lining, I'm going to press up the seam allowance at the bottom, which is the part that will be joining onto our jacket, like this, to the wrong side. The next thing to do is to join them right sides together along this front edge, which is the opening of the hood. I'm going to put the lining inside. match up the seams at the centre front top. As you join the seams, your outside fabric is going to be the width of the seam allowance longer than the lining because we've pressed up that seam allowance on the lining, so expect this to overhang the lining fabric. Now this is all pinned with right sides together, I'm going to stitch my seam allowance, which is one and a half centimetres, all the way around this front part of the hood, and then I'm going to understitch. I've just put a pin across where we've got the seam allowance pressed up at the bottom here, just to make sure it doesn't flip down as I stitch it. When you get to the centre front top, make sure your seams are lined up nicely, and make sure you don't catch the seam allowance on the bottom as you go across it so it opens up nicely. And again, I put a pin across here to make sure that the seam allowance we pressed up stays where we want it to be. 
Next, we're gonna understitch. So what we need to do is on the right side, open it up and stitch it. So all of the seam allowance goes towards the lining. I'm just gonna do a really small line of top stitching along the front of the lining like that. And that'll hold that front edge open really nicely after we press it. Here's how our hood's looking now, it's all joined. So we've got it with the right sides facing out, the center fronts are joined together and understitched. I'm just gonna go and press along that very edge just to make it sit really neatly. And our bottom edges, the bit that's gonna to attach to the jacket is still open with our seam allowance pressed upwards on the lining. So I'm gonna press here and then it'll be time to join it onto the jacket. I've just made a little mark at the center back there so I can line up my seam. And what we need to do is right sides together, join just the outside fabric to this collar part of the jacket. So don't catch your lining down at this point. The sequin fabric is a little bit stretchy, so I'm just making sure it's all sitting in the right spot as I pin it and it's not stretching out of shape and ending up too wide. Once I've got it pinned on, I'm going to stitch half an inch all the way along here to join the hood to the jacket. This is how it looks now with the hood joined. And the last job to do is to hand stitch the lining down, pin that down on the inside of the jacket with the denim and the sequin seam allowance facing upwards into the hood. And we're gonna pin all the way around, matching the center back seams. And hand sew this in place and we're finished. I love the size of the hood. I love how it's sitting and the pattern worked out really well and fitted really neatly onto the collar of the jacket. I think the sparkles are great, but then that's me and I love sequins. I think it would work really well in some fleece or a sweatshirt fabric if you wanted to do a really casual look. You could use floral fabrics or upcycle for some fabrics from things you find in op shops. I've used the plain lining in this one because the sequins are quite sheer. But you could use, if you're using a thicker fabric, you could use a floral pattern inside or polka dots or any kind of pattern that takes your fancy because you do see quite a bit of the lining when it's hanging down. You could add embellishments around the edge of the hood and match them on the cuffs or on the pockets of your jacket. There's so many ways you can change just a plain jacket up. It doesn't have to be denim. It could be any jacket that you've got sitting in your wardrobe with the right kind of collar. This is a really simple transformation. If you've got a sewing machine and a couple of hours, it's not hard to do at all. Just have fun and experiment and see what you can come up with. Thanks for watching. I hope you feel inspired to upcycle or create something for yourself. I'll be back soon with more videos, more tutorials. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Please click the little bell so that you get notifications of my new videos and I'll see you soon.